at some uh, stats from this past weekend. All right, we did pretty good on our objectives, except for one thing. Tell me what it is. Uh, all right, so this is a two-shot drill that um, implements a little bit of goaltender warm-up as well as getting lateral passes and then shooting off the pass without dusting off the puck. So coming off of last weekend, we felt like we had some opportunities to shoot on lateral plays, and we took a little bit too much time and dusted off the puck. So the first shot originally is for the goaltender just to get a good long shot, and then the drive is to feel a little bit of presence from the D, stop it here, and then lateral play. And then this shot should be staying on your forehand the whole time if you're on your strong side. And then if you're on your weak side, should be a little bit of a one-time situation. So we're going to see two more of these coming through with first guys right down the middle, giving the goalie a good warm-up shot, then wide drive. And we're ready to get a pass on the opposite side, collect and shoot right away. We want to see really good body language when we collect that putt, puck and shoot. Um, knowing that those opportunities don't always come up often in the game. So we need to take a, a, need to take advantage of it. All right. This next drill that we did for unhandling pucks was a three on one drill. Um, we just want three guys on offense, one guy defending, and you want them pressuring the puck. And we got to move the puck quick. We want to underhandle pucks and get pucks to the net as quick as possible. And we want a retrieval, move it to a guy ready to shoot. And it, it teaches guys when they get a puck, they got to be in a position to shoot it. A lot of times guys get a puck in a good shooting area. They're not ready to shoot it. So they got to be ready to shoot it at all times. Shooting off the pass is huge. You know, that's how you're going to be able to score goals and get getting pucks to the net for rebounds. That's how you generate second opportunities. But you get a little friction, right? You want to get it to the net as quick as possible. Get a retrieval, get it to the net, get it to the net as quick as possible. Could be bad angle shots. It uh, doesn't matter what, but you want a quick retrieval, get it up top, and then get in position for a quick shot on goal. So while the Fords were doing shooting drills at the other end, we didn't want the D to feel left out. So here we are working on D shooting. This is just a fan out one-timer drill. Uh, we, we don't have the goalie in the net because obviously pucks are coming from both sides and pretty quickly. And all we are asking them to do is to hit the net, hit the net, hit the net, not necessarily worried about how hard the shot is, but making sure we hit the net. And, and you know, fortunately on this time, uh, guys were doing pretty well. After that, we put them to the blue lines. You'll need another coach for this. It's same thing. Goalie's not in the net because we're shooting at both at both at the same time. And all it is, is is collecting shots quickly, shooting them off the pass from uh, from a bank shot from low to high. Uh, and here we'll just get, get the D-men. They can, they can keep shooting until they miss the net. So coaches, you know, give them, give them good passes. But if one guy is ripping off seven or eight reps in a row, you can give them harder and harder pucks to handle. So here we use an apparatus um, that's doubling as a, as a defender in the middle of the ice. As you heard the coaches talk about before, we needed to do a much better job of getting our head up and shooting pucks just like that, scored a nice goal through the defender or getting your head up and quickly pulling or pushing around the defender. So this is a good drill where they can get plenty of reps in and working on that skill. Mm -hmm.